Hi, welcome to this first tutorial on Visual Basic. Um, basically, you could use any Visual Basic you want. I'm using Visual Basic 2010. Um, I got it from my previous job, so I'm kind of lucky. <laughs> um, but you could actually download even the free version. So uh, let's just start the um, Visual Studio. Um, we're going to create a uh, Visual Basic project. So let's just uh, click type uh, new project we'll have a uh, basically a list visual basic it's going to be a windows form application we click ok and uh, it's using the net framework 4.0 it shouldn't be a problem so uh, let's just uh, create the uh, look first of the uh, form let's just call it uh, um do not copy okay the form let's go to the properties we'll uh, call it uh, currency converter and a uh, couple of things we might want to do is the the uh, buttons that there are the minimize the the minimize the maximize button you just want to remove them so the minimize is going to be set false the maximize box we don't need this false so we just only have the exit button so now we have this here let's add the stuff we click on the toolbox here we have the uh, let's make this larger toolbox we will need the first thing we will need is a labels a couple of labels first one let's just call this uh, uh, let's go here we call it this is currency can converter now uh, this will be in the middle center let's uh, give it a we'll, we're not gonna worry about the looks here okay let's just do the this one here just for the sake of simplicity so let's just say convert from we need a uh, convert to and then we just click convert which is the amount and then we need to have another label well it's gonna basically be the actual this label will be a label we use to show the uh, results so this is gonna be our let's call it convert to label and then uh, we have a text box let's just put a text box here mm, we have here this one is going to actually have the uh, currency amount so it's going to be currency amount and then we have another text box will basically has the uh, result and this we will call it main text easier to remember so now we need the list the list box so we have the list box here this basically will have a list box of all the uh, currencies like currency from um, I already have the list from the Java application we developed so I'm just gonna copy it and uh, click edit items and just put the items here these are just the list of the currencies um, let's uh, copy it and we're gonna have the uh, name convert to now we have almost everything we have here but uh, one thing I want to do is on the uh, actually we need the button to actually do the convert we're just gonna call it convert 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 button and we're just gonna text it convert now let's, let's go to the action of the button the click okay here's the thing 
couple of things we need to do is have to import so this is basically the general we're gonna have the imports which basically the first one is the uh, system IO that one we're gonna use for the system that IO that's for the reading and then we need one for the uh, regular expression so we have the imports system dot text dot regular expressions now we have this class main we have uh, this thing here um, to avoid any mistake let's go to the form and let's go to the uh, the actual here not click we will go to the uh, we need to go to the load function we'll see where it is this basically where where it loads the uh, we're not gonna go to the convert button we just go to the form and we look for the load well, it doesn't have it we'll just worry about that later let's just go to the button basically the button will just check first check if the currency is a number if statement not is numeric we just use the built-in function and the uh, we do the currency amount that text now if it's not numeric we'll just do a message box message box and then we'll just say please enter a valid amount mm, this is box let's just do the information and uh, invalid input for the title let's set the focus to the text box and return I keep adding the semicolon <laughs> okay now if everything is okay let's do the calculate calculate function now the calculate function we'll just do it here and the uh, private sub do calculate now basically we need the following for scraping we them string as let's just do string as system dot io dot stream we need the uh, string read as system dot i o dot stream reader these are variables we need for the actually reading the website now let's get the values from the text boxes let's uh, dim a string from as string we need it as an array and then we're gonna split the currency currency from text and then we split it with this here the same thing we do for the uh, the two array and it's gonna be as a string and we're gonna split the currency to that text okay okay currency from it's not declared for some reason let's just currency from Ah, yeah, I misspelled it. It's I spelled it only with one e, but hey, it's okay. I don't have to go and fix it. Now, the web fetching variables. These are the actual variables that we need for the web fetching. Them request as system dot net dot web request system dot net web 
request and we create a new system dot net dot net dot web request dot create and we create the actual URL now for here unlike uh, the Java application we're gonna actually use a uh, the XE that's a website that actually does the same thing it's like a currency converter so basically here we're gonna have the string amount and then we're gonna add it you go to their website you could actually view the URL that you need to use I'm just copying and pasting from there str2 okay and the other stuff okay str2 and then we have str from okay st okay we have the str amount we have the from it's actually going to be the str from subscript 1 plus and 2 it's going to have the string 2 subscript 1 which actually has the code subscript 0 has the currency name we don't need the name we just need the code and then the final I'll just copy it from the URL okay okay now the URL is done now the URL is done we just have to go and uh, do this thing here the actual response system that net that web response and it's gonna be the response of the actual here now we'll uh, just have to match the response that we got basically a regular exp expression we have the try catch and the uh, try let's uh, make the my matches as match collection this is the regular expression now we actually have to uh, my regular ex Ex, uh, ex, let's just do this expression as new regects and then basically the expression that we need to match is 0 to 9 um, 0 or more numbers a decimal 0 or more numbers and it has to have the actual code here so basically this is it and then we have the my matches my reg expression that matches and the str read that read to end now search for all the words in the string we have up there okay it says currency to currency from currency to it's not there 